All eyes on the legislature ahead of a ruling on right to repair and accessing vehicle data on this episode of Apex TV 360. Welcome back to Apex TV 360. I'm Chris Turner. It was a busy summer when it came to legislation. Joining us now to explain, we have Ann Wilson, Senior Vice President of Government Affairs for the Motor and Equipment Manufacturers Association, or MEMA, and Aaron Lowe, the Senior Vice President of Regulatory and Government Affairs for the Auto Care Association. And we're gonna start with you. Tell us about what we should expect from the infrastructure legislation. Technology is the main word to think about when you think about the uh, infrastructure legislation. Um, there's going to be a lot of work in the infrastructure legislation when it passes the House in, in the September on new safety technology, including new safety standards for a lot of new vehicles, as well as um, a lot of funding to create zero emission technology for uh, light vehicles and commercial vehicles. So as the aftermarket thinks about it, we need to think about what our role is in the maintenance and repair of vehicles. Things like, are you working on, um, on ADOS technology, advanced driver assistance systems? Well, they're gonna have new standards for that and they're gonna require DOT to write that. Are you working on emissions or fuel efficiency technology for repair and maintenance? You need to really pay attention to what funding will be out there that will allow manufacturers and others to invest in those new kinds of technologies for consumers, as well as what the new standards are going to be. We're going to, we are representing an industry right now that's in transition on technology and the aftermarket has got a big role to play in that. Speaking of technology, let's bring in Aaron. Aaron, there's a lot going on with the control of vehicle data and how that impacts the repair of vehicles. Can you tell us a little bit about that? So Massachusetts continues to be the focus of a lot of attention. We passed the ballot measure or the Massachusetts voters passed the ballot measure 75 to 25 back in November of 2020 as part of the, the election. And that bill requires that coroners have control and access to the data from their vehicle and that they can provide that access to the independent repair shops that they like to go to. So there was an overwhelming support for right to repair. Uh, but then a couple of weeks after that, the uh, vehicle manufacturers through the Alliance for Automobile um, Automotive Innovation uh, filed a lawsuit in federal court in Boston uh, saying, seeking to overturn the uh, will of the people uh, voting and basically uh, saying that they thought it was preempted by federal law, although they really couldn't point to what federal law would really be preempted by it and that they couldn't do it for, because of cybersecurity. Uh, which we, a point which we definitely and strongly um, uh, feel is wrong and that it can be done cyber securely and we've shown that it can be. In fact, at Apex this year, as in past couple of years, we've done demonstrations to show how data can be accessible to car owners and independent repair shops very cyber securely. Um, and so we're, we, we think that uh, there's a strong case to be made for choice and I think car owners uh, are in agreement. We'll keep an eye out for the verdict. But in the meantime, how can folks get involved? There are things that can be done today. There'll be things that can be done as part of APEX. Um, obviously, APEX is a huge opportunity to have everybody together to talk about these issues, and we're looking forward to it. But even before we get there, things people can do things, and they can contact us. They can go to our website, find a lot of good information. They can send a letter from our website to the uh, to their legislator. And like I said, we're more than happy to set up meetings with legislators um, in the district. Uh, they're home a lot these days um, to help uh, communicate and build that relationship. Both AutoCare and AASA have the ability to connect you with your members of Congress. And we are very, very anxious to do that. And also I would really urge you to in become engaged with MEMA's uh, repair and access and aftermarket uh, grassroots messaging by texting repair to 52886 and that way you will get those grassroots messages right to your phone of which you can take action on. So again you text repair to 52886 and that way you'll be able to have direct access to messages about what's going on in Capitol Hill and what you should be weighing in with your members of Congress on.
Thank you, Aaron and Ann, for your insights. Apex 2021 is almost here, and there's no time to waste. Save the date for November 2nd through the 4th. Register and reserve your room now at apexshow.com. Then share that you'll be there. Post it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn using the hashtag Apex2021. That's it for this episode of Apex TV 360. We'll see you again soon.